Sometimes unusual buildings are the perfect addition to your Minecraft world. I'm going to show you how to make a windmill in just one chunk with some really nice detail. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in my one chunk build tutorial series. And we are, again, going to do this a little bit freestyle. I've not planned it apart from sort of in my head. So we're just going to carry on playing this in the make it up as we go along type of vein. But I've had a number of people ask for a number of different buildings within one chunk. And this is one of the more popular requests. And we're going to do a one chunk windmill. Now this is going to be quite interesting because obviously the sounds of a windmill are not that easy to do. And uh, as a result of that, we're going to find it quite hard to make it look like it's quite realistic. So I think that's the challenge. We're going to have a go at this and we're going to do it in this one chunk square that I have built up here. So this is one chunk. The 16 by 16 includes the blue. The blue will not be part of the final build. And that little stone square in the middle is indeed the middle. So this is where we're going to do it. Let's crack right on. So we're going to start at the base. And this is going to be a, a circle. Now, obviously, with this sort of size, circles are actually very, very tricky. And circles can end up being a little bit jaggedy. So we're going to try and do as big a circle as we can within the space that means the sails of the windmill will poke out beyond it otherwise it will look a bit daft and also it doesn't look too jaggedy so i'm going to come to the back of the square here this being one this is two this is where we're going to start this here okay and we're going to put a row of four and then coming in a row of three from this we're going to come in another two and then we're going to go one two three and four so you can see we're just back from the center a little bit and what this is going to do is give us a circle that is of 10 blocks diameter which i think for me is probably as kind of the, the optimal size for us at the moment one two three and four then one two three and one two so if i come up you can see it is a little bit jaggedy but it is at least looking relatively speaking circular the chicken is optional but and it's slightly off center because i want to have it set back from the front this is going to be the front of the build just here and then what we've got to do is we've just got to build it up and what i do want to do actually is i want to take out those two at the front that is where we're going to shove a door so i'm just going to build it up a little bit higher um, I'm only using this one block at the moment, but we're going to change that. We always do give it a little bit of texture, and um, this is going to be absolutely no different. I'm not sure how high I want to go on this one at the moment. I think probably a decent height, um, because the, the towers inside, if you can imagine, you're coming inside a windmill. I don't know if anybody's been inside a windmill, but the first section is actually relatively high, and because we've got it 10 wide that means the sails are going to be literally going out to 12 wide um, we need to have you know sufficient height for the sail in the middle to come down and have clearance and sail to go up so we need it to come up fairly tall i think we're going to go up six which would be and that's four that's five and that's six so this is going to be our first section so i'll be back when i've made up that six high tower. So we've got a six high tower. It doesn't look like much at the minute, but what we do want to do is we want to come in one. Um, because if you look at uh, windmills, they tend to slowly creep inwards and uh, get narrower at the top than they are. Not loads, but just a little bit. They get narrower at the top than they are at the bottom. So we're just gonna bring it in one here uh, using some steps and again I'm just using a bit of a structural block at the moment we're going to detail this up very nicely thank you very much as we move forwards and then on the inside I'm going to shove again more steps because I want it to be a gradual kind of inward motion like that of course there that's going to be like that and it right so if I do that that's probably the easier way of doing it that's better like that we're going to do something with the door in a minute don't panic Coming in here, that can come in like that. 
they are good that's working and there okay so that's given us a bit of a step inwards and then we can carry on uh, with kind of building out with this one here as well and you can see we've now created ourselves a smaller circle this circle is an effectively an eight wide circle that is a load of triangles and a couple of straight lines to be honest so we're just going to build this one up again I think we're going to go another six with this one before we get to the next level we also need let's just get that closed off we also need to bring in the door area so we want the doors to be too high obviously that is going to be like that that is going to be like that we can then build this up a lot of these blocks will probably change that goes in there that comes in there and that comes in there and that goes in there like that so you can see we're slowly building up the tower very nicely there and I'm just going to bring this up to six high and uh, then I'll be back again so those eagle-eyed viewers among you will have noticed that I didn't get all of the steps in quite the right order and when I blocked off over the top of the door I used blocks I have rectified that I did notice I did notice anyway so we have got ourselves another six blocks high here you can see now what I want to do I want to just create a little shelf around the edge I'm not sure why yet I just felt that it needed a little shelf and I'm going to do it in wood because I need to change the material now that we're going to be building this top section out of um, otherwise it's just going to look like a stone tower and that's not what we're trying to achieve we want something that is just a little bit more interesting than that and what we're going to do now is we are going to be building up further but I think I'm going to get some spruce luggage going now I think um, I'm going to put spruce luggage in each of these these are not spruce luggage oak luggage what am i talking about spruce luggage don't know me trees from me trees so we're going to go up with uh, the oak logs four high i think in the first instance there and there is that going to be high enough do we think coming back no i don't think it is i want to come up another one uh, there which makes sense actually that means it's six and six because then we have to build the cross turrets there like that so that makes sense so let's keep it consistent and do six and six like that and that so if I then look at it this way that's sort of yeah it's coming together it's coming together and now what I want to do is I want to build um, what's basically a bit of an outer tower but to be able to do this I need to match the height here by putting two spruce blocks on the outside of this and then what I can do is I can just start to bring out by coming and edging around this way and create what's essentially the start of the roof um, as an overhang because it's going to need that. I'm just thinking coming around this way and how is it going to look if I take that's not how it's meant to be. It's just going to look how it looks when I take a step backwards in there and there okay so we've got that's not going to remain open just for the record it is just for structure so if I then start to bring this through um, how would I do that if I do that like that I'm trying to get what's relatively rounded but not too rounded if I start to come in like that um, then bring it in a little bit that way this is going to be too tall isn't it I think I'm going to have to do it I don't think steps are going to work no they're not going to work right okay so let's get rid of the steps we don't want the steps the steps are not good for our lives in this particular instance we're going to use some slabs so let's come in with some slabs around this way see whether or not these look just a little bit better I don't want too domey a roof but I do want it to be a little bit domed so I think we'd, we might be onto a winner here if I put that like that and that like that am I going to need to raise this up a little bit more is that going to make it too flat yeah so if I put in that 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 and that just fill that in 
like that and then that 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 and that is that better yes but we want to put in a little bit more detail shove that there that there that there and that there I think we are getting closer that there that there yeah so basically I just want to take the the sharpness off of the edge where these blocks have given it sharpness and I think that's probably just check all the way around I could then put no I couldn't what if I put that there and there is that making it too sharp again so I'm creating more sharpness here then aren't I is that going to work I don't think that's going to work uh, actually I don't know I think that's all right I think we've done a winner there so now what we need to do is we need to build up the inside of here and just again for now I'm going to use um, this wood as a structural block I'm not necessarily going to leave it like this I just want to get the formation of the tower before I uh, start to look at some detailing on it um, so I'll be back when I have completed this bit one tower and it just genuinely does look like a bit of a tower at the minute you could change it into anything you wanted to be honest with you but we want a windmill so come about halfway up so we've got one two three four five there so come the third one and put out two now i'm using jungle wood fences because it kind of fits with the, the color scheme it, it contrasts but doesn't look out of place and come out three I'm just looking to see whether or not that might be right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down and then out from this one, this one being one, eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That should be at the edge and not going over. That's right. Yeah. So we're going to come up one. So one, two, three four five six seven and eight so that's the start there okay and then we've got to come i've got to think about this hang on uh it's actually gonna be don't worry we're gonna do something two three four five six seven eight and then on this other side here Get rid of that one for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Is that right? Or do those um, do they look too long? I'm not convinced they don't look too long, you know. Right, anyway, we'll worry about that in a minute. And now I'm going to just test out two different colours. Because um, I'm not sure which is going to be the right colour. So we're going to do... Birchwood fence first. Um, is that going to work? Hang on, let me try it. That's not right. That's around the wrong way for a start. Um, and it, that's around the wrong way. Or the one on the right hand side is around the wrong way. So let's just finish this off here. How does that look? Does that look? That's. That's not quite right, is it? That's not quite right. I wonder if oak fence looks better or whether I should just keep it all jungle wood. Um, so it's come out from the center, it's come down one, so that's gonna be, officially it's that one, but I'm gonna just test it by looking at it here. And let's take a step back. Um, I prefer the oak. I think let's just get rid of all the beach the beach doesn't work for me it's too light it looks out of place so we've got to get rid of that so get rid of get rid of um, and but you get the picture so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna remodel those sails properly and uh, I'll be back when I've finished so one set of windmill sails we are limited to the width that we can go up because that is the edge you can see and we've got to stay within one chunk so that is the edge of that side that is the edge of that side and as a result the up and downs can only be the same length as well so we've got to have i missed one hang on a minute three four 
five, six. Oh, I can put another one on there, look. That make it slightly longer. I'm happier now. There we go. How's that? Actually, yeah, that looks better. Right, so now we're just going to come inside and I want to just take out the floor because by taking out the floor, I can just put in some uh, floor of the actual um, place itself rather than um, what, it's, what it is at the minute. And I'm going to use coarse dirt because I want it to stay dirt. I don't want it to go grassy. I think dirt could... This chicken's following me, I'm sure it is. I'm sh I reckon that the majority of the inside will be dirt. So again, just to give myself a little bit of structure, we're going to go... We're going to go full on dirtage on this one. And then we're going to get spruce doors, because I reckon spruce doors would be the fellas that you would have inside a windmill. Do we want to do it, actually? So it looks like it's more halfway. That's much better. Much happier with that. Right, so now we also want to put in some windows. So windows can be, I would say, there, there, there and there. Let's just shove ourselves a couple of windows in there. We're going to do the same on this side. In there, like that. Same on this side around here. Because actually windmills are potentially quite windowy but when we get up to the top they get far less windowy um, so we need to think about how we're going to put windows or are we going to bother putting windows in the top I think we probably should if we put window in like that that's not going to work is it what if we put a window in across there that's not going to work either right one has to have a think now how are we going to put these windows in? So let me just uh, shove that back. I think I do want to put... I'm going to come back to that, you know. I'm not entirely certain. I am going to come back to it. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start to put some various blocks. I'm going to keep it mainly stone, block, uh, stone bricks. But I am going to just change some of these stone bricks for the odd other brick. And I think as a result we're going to give it some more interesting look you know the score that's how we're going to do it and uh, I'll be back when I finish my texturing because we're also going to shove in a little bit of smooth stone as well because that gives a really nice finish again we'll maintain it as most of it being uh, the bricks but every now and again we'll just change it like that I'll be back when I've finished so we've changed up the bricks and I've also managed to work out how I'm going to put those windows in. I'm just using blocks. We'll see if that works when the build's complete. I'm just going to put some shutters around these windows because they need definitely some rustic eyes in and everyone needs a little bit of that in their life. So I'm going to use my chocolate slabs, sorry, I mean my dark oak trap doors to just give it a little bit of life. And then on here, I'm actually going to put them on the sides of the windows like oh no not that one on the sides of the windows like that because I'd like to not have the uh, these kind of clear glass sides it just doesn't quite work for me even though the front works quite well and if I just having a think if I do that how is that looking I might come back to that maybe we'll have a play with that a little bit later now I'm going to get some not jungle fence, on some oak fence. There we go, oak fence. I'm going to get some oak fence detailing coming up these edges. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them like that on all potential sides up to the start of that indent. Just to give a little bit more, I don't know, interest in the texture. Come in there and there. We're nearly there. There, 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 and there. So that surrounds the front door. We need to do a bit more around that front door as well, actually. Come down that and that. Is that it? That is it. So if I take a step back, you can see we're starting, just starting to get what appears to be actually coming across as quite an interesting looking windmill. We do need to put a lot more detail on it though. We definitely need extra detail around this area. So let's start to think about what detail we're gonna put in here. I think we need to texture up these sides and we can do that in a number of ways. Let's find the other 
So you can play with some trap doors. Trap doors are quite interesting. We don't have half slabs in Minecraft, but what we do have are trap doors. And with trap doors, you can actually create some quite interesting patterns if you are careful. You can see like that, look. Um, whether or not that is what we want to do, of course, is another matter. But if we come down like that, if we texture up the whole side of that, let's take a step back and look at it once we've done it. How does that look? That actually looks really quite nice. I like that a lot. And then we could also texture up these bits here. Let's see how these look with some texture on as well. And on this side also. I think it's coming along. I think we might be onto something here. So I'm just going to get some trapdoors all over the edge of this building and start to put a bit more detail in and I'll be back in a minute. We've done a chunk of the decorating on the outside, but we are going to come inside before we finish it off because I've got some thoughts about what I want to do up here. Now this is a windmill and if we want it to be a windmill, that means it's got to mill stuff. So I'm going to get some iron bars at the same level of the windows because that is the same level as the middle of the sails and we're going to come out four which puts it right splat bang in the middle of the windmill and then we're going to come down to a fair old chunk down actually how far down do we want to come because this is going to be the shaft of the millstone and stone slab strikes me as being the best thing from millstone so let's get that there and that there 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 there and there I need to leave myself a gap so as I can go back up it again and then I just want to complete this so as it creates as close to a, a, a shaft as I can physically make, which is not too bad actually. I'm I'm fairly happy with the way that's worked out. You know, that's okay. It it looks actually fairly shaft-like. What we can do is we can put um slabs on top there 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 and there just to give it what appears to be a bit more structure and we can come down here shove that like that and then we want to come down and create a gap obviously losing that is going to mean we've got to put that back but we're going to put in that whoop not there and there if I come around there and there and that acts that's actually quite nice I like it then if we put that underneath like that will that work if I managed to do it first time surely not yeah you know I might have done I only, I only might have gone and done it right so let's get myself some gravel because what I also want to do is I just want to gravel up some of this floor just spot gravel to make it look a little bit more interesting how's that um, let's put one there as well that's cool and then we'll get some chests and put some chests up these walls here to store the grain then we're going to get some hay bales make them so as they're a bit kind of all sorts of directions sideways there and there like that so we've got plenty of hay bales that's going to do grinding and grinding all the way around like that that's all right so let's get some light in here uh, there and there there and there that works very nice, thank you very much. We can still go up here, can't we? Yeah, we can. I'm going to put some light above these windows as well so you can see it a little bit lit on the outside during the night time. And then I'm also going to do it here. 
uh, I will put light on there as well and there and there so it's even that's nice we like that um, now what I've not done though is I've not created any way for a miller to access up the top so I think I'm gonna have to come up it's gonna have to be there in it we're gonna have to do that there so let's get ourselves an oak log we're gonna put oh except I can't get up that way let's get rid of that if I go out here that's external that's not gonna work right so if I oak log hmm to there how are we going to get them to access that that's not going to work at all so how am I going to do that I need to get to that platform there if I get rid of that that is external as well oh, you know what I reckon they don't need to access it that's my answer they don't need to access it that's absolutely fine they're more than happy with it all working beautifully as normal what I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to put some nominal looking ladders that are essentially non-functional that go up there like that there we go so we can pretend that that is a functional ladder right there there you go that's beautiful that's a perfect perfect ladder there you go that goes up and just pretend it it doesn't go nowhere just pretend and that's that out there i think there's very little more we need to do inside i think that works quite nicely what we do need to do is think about just a little bit more decoration outside. We've got this area, including the blue square, that we want to create uh, a little bit of detail in. So what I'm first off going to do is I'm going to get rid of the stone. I'm going to go... Hmm, how am I going to do it? If I put that there, just to mark it, I'm going to get that oak fence so as I don't lose my mark. I'm going to come there put oak fence on it corner like that corner like that okay so I've got the area that I want to work with now I know that those oak fences are the 16 by 16 I can get rid of the blue because I don't need to mark that out anymore and I can create a more natural surrounding using grass and I'll finish doing that again in a sec as well and then I can bring in some leaves leaves always work nicely don't they where's the front door right the front door's not around here so I can do leaves kind of ad hoc a little bit like that maybe there I'll come along and do some more windowage in a minute that can be like that that's the front door that can be there so you can see what I'm trying to attempt I'm going to bring that out like that I'll do something with that in a minute um, yeah it's starting to come through I'm going to do a little bit more detailing and I think we might get close to finishing and I reckon we have done it we've created ourselves just a little bit of grounds around that windmill it is not to live in it is purely to be a working windmill with the odd guest chicken every now and again yes I'm talking about you and I think it's come out quite well we've got some nice decorative structure it's actually really hard to structure a tower and give it a decent level of decoration without making it look too kind of overdone so we're trying to keep it as relatively simple as we can whilst at the same time making it look like it would look perfectly in place on a Dutch landscape and I think we've done all right the sails have come out well they're even if we'd have had more room on either side definitely would have made those a little bit bigger but we didn't so we didn't and I think that's okay and then inside just to recap we are going to put we've got our inside area with its dual millstone system that is going to be grinding all of the flour that the uh, miller is going to be flogging in the market that we've not actually made a market maybe one day we need to make a market there we go so let's close the doors and all in all i think it turned out all right 
And there we have one windmill. It is a decent looking thing in one chunk. It wasn't as simple as I thought it would be. The detailing, getting it right is tricky and getting the sails right, they're still not quite long enough, but I can't make them any longer because of the restrictions of the chunk. So I think all in all, we've not done too bad a job. Combination of stone and wood and a little bit of sweat, frankly. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will carry on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.